your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to build a Wix website for lawyers. The first thing you want to do once on Wix.com, you are going to create an account. And you can do this for completely free with your email address. You don't need a credit card or anything like that. Once you are finished creating your account, you are going to tap on create new site. From here, what I want you to do next is tap on create on Wix editor. Once you have selected create on Wix editor, you will be redirected to this page and you are going to tap on set up without AI. After selecting set up without AI, you are going to tap on the search bar and you are going to type in lawyer. And by the way, you can scroll down and you can see different categories that you can go in, subcategories better yet. For example, if you're a court lawyer, a real estate lawyer, injury lawyer, IP lawyer, tax lawyer, or so on, you can select a particular subcategory as you can see right here. So let's say, for example, I want to leave it at general lawyer, then we'll tap on continue. After you have tapped on continue, you can see Wix is now preparing our dashboard. Once our dashboard has been prepared, we'll be able to enter our website or business name. So you can do that right here. So for example, I'll do that. Then you can enter in your business address. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. Then from here, you can select your working hours. So for example, let's say your shop will be open for from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can select that. You can also select the days of the week that your business will be operational. Then you'll tap on continue. After you have done that, you can see some sample services that Wix suggests that most law firms it assumes will offer. So you can select which one of these would suit your desired business. So you can simply tick the boxes right there. And if none of these, none of these recommended services suits you, all you'll need to do is tap on create new service. And from there, you can add in your service name and tap on save. After you're finished, you're going to tap on continue. Then from here, you can add in staff members name an email address. After doing that, you're going to tap on continue. Then you can select whether you'd like to offer virtual services. So for example, virtual sessions right there. So for example, persons will be able to do meetings or consultations over Zoom or so on. You can also choose to sync your personal Google or Apple calendar. You can also choose to accept online payments you can send automated emails and SMS reminders if you want. And then you're going to tap on continue. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue to dashboard. Once on the dashboard, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the payment methods. So to do this, you're going to tap over over getting paid. Then you'll tap on connect and set up. And you're going to tap on connect payment method. Depending on the country you're located in, you're going to see different payment options. For example, I'm located in Jamaica, so you can see the payment options that I will be able to offer. But if I were to change my website location to, for example, United States, you'll realize that I can now offer even more payment options to my potential customers. So for example, I can connect Wix, and if I were to tap on see more payment options right here, you can see that we can also offer triple A, after pay, affirm, and so much more. So depending on the country you are located in, you'll be able to connect your accounts with whichever one of these platforms. So your customers will have more options to pay, which in turn will help to increase your conversion rate. Another thing that you can also do once you're finished setting up the payment method, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to hover over catalog and you're going to tap on booking services. From here, you will be able to edit or add more services that you would like to offer. For example, we could scroll down 
and we can edit some of the pre-selected services. So for example, I can tap on edit for the initial tax consultation. I could change the name if I want. I could also change the cover image for that particular service. You could add a quick description. You can scroll down, you can change the duration of the service, you can add a buffer time if you want. You can also choose the amount that you would like to charge. So for example, let's say I like to charge $100 for the hour. You can also choose whether this is a fixed price or the price will vary. Once you're finished, you're going to simply tap on save in the top right hand corner. Now that you have done that, you can continue adding more services if you want by tapping on add a new service in the top right hand corner. Also, if you would like to create gift cards, you can create gift cards quite easily by tapping on gift cards from the left hand menu option. You can also see booking channels right here. So if we were to tap on booking integrations, you can see that you can also integrate your booking with Facebook, Instagram, Google, and also hop link in bio as you can see right here. Now that we are finished doing this, to view your booking calendar, you would go over to the left hand menu option and you'll hover over booking calendar and tap on calendar. And this is where you're going to be able to view all of your bookings in the future. Now to continue your setup, you're going to tap on set up in the top left hand corner. Once you have done that, I want you to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. After you have done that, you're going to tap on customize a template and you're going to tap on pick a template. From here, you can see numerous templates that Wix recommends. And this is one of the major standout features when it comes on to the Wix website builder. As with these templates, you'll be able to create a professional looking website in no time. Let's say, for example, I want to use this one. All I'll need to do is tap on edit. After you have tapped on edit, you will be redirected to this page. Once on this page, all you'll need to do now, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner, right where you see plus 50%, as I would recommend that you increase the zoom to 100% so you can see it even better. And this is how our website looks at the moment. Now, to start editing is quite easy. For example, let's say you would like to change the name right here of the law firm. You could simply tap on the text, then tap on change text. And from there, I could type in, for example, Jason. And I can do that real quick. If I wanted to edit the entire section right here, the entire header section, all I would have to do is hover over it, then tap on quick edit. Then from there, you could tap on manage business and you'll be able to edit it. Let's say, for example, you'd like to add a background color or so on to this section. All you need to do is simply tap on the section, then tap on change header design. Once you have done that, for example, you can scroll down and you can see different colors that you could select right there. Or you could tap on customize design and you'll be able to choose a personalized color. But you can see quite quickly how you could edit it. Another thing you can do is tap on quick edit right here. And again, you could go into settings and you could make different changes. If you would like to make changes to this menu option, all you have to do is hover over it, then tap right where you see horizontal menu. Then you can tap on manage menu. After you have done that, if it is a case that you'd like to hide a page, you could simply tap on the three dots in line with the page name, tap on hide from menu, and you can also see the different options right here on which you can edit it. Now to view all pages on your website, you can simply tap right where you see home in the top left hand corner. And from here, you'll be able to view all the pages that are currently on your website. For example, if I were to tap on criminal law, it will carry me to that page as you can see right here. And in case you would like to add a new page, it is quite easy to do. All you need to do is go over to the top left hand corner once more, tap right where you see criminal law, 
Then from there, you could tap on Manage Pages from the bottom of the drop down menu option. Then tap on Add Page and you'll be able to add a new page. You can also add different elements to the page. So for example, let's say you like to add background music or you like to add a pop-up to collect customer's email. All you'll need to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you can add any element to your website. Once you're finished and everything is to your liking, you can tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live. Keep in mind to add a custom domain name and to also accept payments using Wix, you will need to go onto one of their paid plans. But their paid plans are quite affordable and I would definitely recommend them if you are planning to create a professional looking website. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.